Hey guys, so uh, it's Sunday, as per usual, waiting on Walking Dead, waiting on Last Man on Earth, so I've got some time, I'm going to go ahead and try to do a couple of videos real quick, this one I'm going to do about comics, my new beginnings and an end, and then I'm going to do another one uh, on my Batman 66 bust, um, because I just got my Riddler this week, and uh, he is crazy sweet, so anyway. Uh, didn't get a lot of new number ones this week, didn't have a lot of series that were ending, so I'm going to talk a little bit about some DC books that I've been reading since the beginning, and uh, kind of thoughts on those going into Convergence. Um, the only new number one that I got this week was Giant Days, which is of this new brand, which is Boombox, which I believe was started because of the success of Lumberjanes, which I ordered the first trade for yesterday, so... Uh, I'm late to the party, but I'm finally going to read Lumberjanes. Uh, I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about Lumberjanes, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check out that trade, and uh, if I like that, uh, the second trade on that should be coming out soon, and then I'll um, I'll pick that up, and then I'll go singles with it, uh, because I believe that it's going to be an ongoing now. But this series was really surprising to me. Um, I mean, I like the cover art a lot. And uh, then this art that's on the back. But the interiors on this, the art and the coloring on this, for being from artists and stuff that I don't really, I'm not really familiar with, I thought was freaking awesome. Um, you know, the uh, coloring was not necessarily just like, you know, crazy splash bright color stuff going on. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of shading with oranges and yellows and light, light colors, really soft. Um, Basically, this story is about uh, these three girls that I believe are like, you know, freshmen or something like that in uh, college and just kind of the everyday things that are going on with them. It was absolutely freaking hilarious. Um, I laughed several freaking times in this book and that's awesome because I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of comics. I read a lot of darker stuff and all and I don't have a lot of comics that really make me just, you know, chuckle uh, continuously over stuff and this really did. And so, yeah, I super enjoyed this. Um, I didn't see very many people pick that up. I think I saw a couple of people that picked that up. But I, it's a six-issue series. Was really, really good. If that's any indication of what this new Boombox brand is going to be, then uh, I'm really looking forward to reading some Boombox. Um, the only thing that I had that ended this week was uh, Terrible Lizard which is a Oni Press book, uh, written by Colin Bunn, uh, art by Drew Moss, colors by Ryan Hill. Um, Drew Moss and Ryan Hill just knocked it out of the park. The art in this book and the coloring are awesome. I'm a sucker for orange, so uh, this book's got a lot of oranges and yellows, so, you know, uh, really enjoyed it. Um, Terrible Lizard is going to be a uh, a free comic book day book number one of terrible lizard is going to be a free to uh, free comic book day so i would you know encourage everybody to go out and check that out pick it up for free uh check out issue one and if you like it then you know you can buy the trade i can't imagine that anybody that's uh that reads comics with their kids or anything like that wouldn't love terrible lizard um and this issue I don't really get like a real like teary eyed or anything like that about comics. This issue really made me, um, really made me feel something at the end of it. It was, it was amazing. That has been a that has been a really really great series. So, <clears throat> Batwoman number forty. Um, I don't want to say I'm glad that it's over, but. I'm glad that maybe we can take a break and get back to what this series was when I started reading. When I started reading this series, coming off of Elergy and um, J.H. Williams and Blackman and Trevor McCarthy and everything that was going on in the beginning of this series, uh, the art and the story were fairly good. I mean, I've got some issues with, uh, with what was going on in the beginning of this series, but it has gone so far off the rails by now that I'm really just glad that it's almost over because I thought this was going to be the last issue 
But then on the last page, apparently, there's going to be a Batwoman annual. Um, a Batwoman annual number two coming out, I guess, in June after Convergence. I don't know. Why you would have a Batwoman annual uh, after Convergence and you're not going to continue the series, I'm not real sure. But I'm glad I saw this through. I'm glad that, you know... It, was, it wasn't horrible, but it just is so far from where it started out. Uh, next up, uh, I've enjoyed this entire run. This is Supergirl 40, uh, Wizard of Oz cover. Um, I've enjoyed this entire series pretty much. Um, I remember that there were a lot of people back at the beginning that didn't really care for it, and like in the mid-teens that didn't really care for it. Um, I love the uh, Hell-El the uh, Hello on uh, Hello on Earth um, event that they had was was great to me. Uh, I liked the whole Cyborg Superman thing that she had going on, and uh, just all that. And I I mean I really really enjoyed this uh, this series. Uh, I've really enjoyed this Crucible storyline that they've been in. Um, it's given her some purpose that she didn't really have. She's just for like the first like 23 issues of Supergirl, she was just kind of angry. You know, she didn't like Superman because, uh, you know, he was, um, they had left the planet at the same time. He was a little baby. Now he's like a grown man who's been on this planet. And she was just a fish out of water type thing. She didn't like uh, Superboy because of the fact that um, he was a clone and there had been this whole clone thing going on on Krypton in the past. So she had all this bitterness towards him. And she was just a bitter person. She just wanted to go back to Krypton. Which was why the uh, the Cyborg Superman uh, thing was so great. Was that, uh, you know, she got to go back to Krypton for a second. She got to, it kind of based her. Um, I like that in this issue they brought back Superboy. Uh, for good or bad, because uh, when Superboy left in Teen Titans, he wasn't necessarily so much of even a good guy. He was kind of just hell-bent to destroy the Earth. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really interested to see where that'll come out on the other side of Convergence. And uh, it should be great. Um, next, I read Batgirl number 40, this Purple Rain cover. Um... I've really liked Batgirl since the creative change. Um, once again, it kind of goes back to the whole, I kind of like that tween type of thing. And she's very tweenish. Um, I like this issue because of the fact that it paid respect to her being Oracle. Which kind of the whole, the whole thing since uh, Cameron Stewart took over has kind of been paying a little bit of tribute to that. But that this paid a little bit of tribute to the whole Oracle thing and how angry she was and just how great her mind was. Because I always liked Oracle because she was a character that, um, you know, showed people... People always talk about whether or not, you know, blacks or Hispanics or this, that, or the other are represented in comics. Handicapped people are not represented in comics and what I liked about Barbara Gordon when she was Oracle was that she represented that you can be handicapped but you can still be a superhero you can still be an important part to the team you know without without Oracle then you wouldn't have I don't, that's a, that's a whole other tangent but in in this issue basically she when she was Oracle had programmed an algorithm to predict crime and it has now become sentient and has decided that it wants to uh, take a satellite in space, get all the criminals in Gotham in one place, and then blow up that place. And uh, so, and it's her. I mean, it's, you know, it's her memories and everything that are powering this. And I really enjoyed it. Everything that's taken place since Cameron Stewart took over has basically been that. Um has been this algorithm that has been screwing her in one way or the other. And, uh, I, I, like I say, I've really, really enjoyed since the creative change. Um, 
I thought that this issue was great because of the fact that it kind of even talked about who is this, you know, uh, bubbly girl that's masquerading in my body. You know, she's not... Criminals fear Batgirl. They don't fear this person I'm looking at. And, you know, that was all kind of cool. There, I mean, it was just... It was just a complete, like, overlook of Batgirl history. Uh, I mean, at least as long as I've been reading Batgirl, I don't know. I mean, but, um, you know, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was a tremendous issue. Uh, can't wait for 41. Um, I don't know exactly what they're going to do with her in, uh, in Convergence. I'm really interested to see that. I really want that Nightwing, uh, Nightwing Oracle story. Uh, because I love Oracle. I mean, really my favorite incarnation, I think, of Barbara Gordon is Oracle. Uh, because, like I say, I think that giving representation to somebody that just does not, isn't represented in any way in comics was just freaking awesome. Having her is like, you know, I mean, Batman just couldn't do without her. She was like, you know, that background player and everything. Which, I mean, uh, in Eternal or whatever, she's kind of like the Penny 2 or whatever. But, uh, anyway, uh, I've rambled on enough, and, uh, I'm gonna get off here, and, uh, get around to reading some more comics, and, uh, you know, if you haven't looked at my sub-contest, check out my sub-contest, really enjoying those videos, um, uh, Punisher's video, Punisher 88's video was freaking awesome, Tylock's video was awesome, Stacy Poole's, uh, video was awesome, um, who else, who else made one? Ah, oh, man. Uh, somebody else made one. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to link those videos underneath. But, uh, yeah, check them out. Uh, all good people, all doing good things.